to I give up at like the first chance. Do you ever dream of sandbags? So that future generations Good. could see how annoying Andrew is. They sucked his brains out. The the impulse to say fuck you to Josh. Because you know this whole thing was just organized to stroke egos. Come to you live from New York. Alrighty, here we are, attempt to do Let's go, horrifying noises. Oh wow. And uh what is that? Let's grab that point. Andrew? What have you done? <laughs> I've not done anything. Wait, but I'm hearing evil voices. <laughs> God. So many technical difficulties tonight. I'm pretty sure that's Marina's computer. It literally sounds like Darth Vader. Okay. It does. Un unfortunately, it's unintelligible. Okay, uh, well, just. That's unfortunate. <laughs> See here how uh, how that uh, that bad start on uh, the first try uh, might differ from this this uh, second game. I wonder if uh, there'll be any different moves in the middle. I mean, Gus seemed to be thinking he was doing pretty well in the flies, but it was pretty back and forth in this game. He had to retreat away, but you had to retreat away. Um, so I'm wondering if either of them is going to shift things up a little bit. I mean, they have to. I mean, they, they, they've, they've observed each other now, so they know, like, what the starting play is going to be. It's like, in, in our games, um, like, in the first in the first match, I uh, was able to successfully get a machine gun in the church really early, and so when I was playing the Americans, I knew, like, that was a real risk, and so I just avoided the center kind of altogether at the beginning of the game. Um, I think they're, they're probably going to do the same thing. Yeah, because there's no way, there's no way I would have stood up to a machine gun in there. Not with riflemen. Um... So they're going to have to move differently, uh, for sure. Although, I mean, even though there was a lot of contended, contention in the center last game, or in the sort of half game we just got, Josh was certainly much better about controlling the sides of the map. He did do a good job of keeping Ian focused on the center. No, uh, honestly, I, I don't know how to answer that question because I never play as PE, yeah. so I don't know what, what is <laughs> right or wrong with the PE. So and I'm back. It looks amazing, guys. I can't wait to dig into it. God damn, Parker, that, that pizza smells so good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, see, now everybody's jealous. Y'all jelly. Don't tempt me, bro. Don't tempt me. Which he will do successfully. He has a bunch of extra weapons on that, yeah. None of them will look at it. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I like it push really, I think they're so good at this game, they don't even have to watch their men fight. Nope. Apparently not. I mean, they're cocky motherfuckers. Ian builds a building in his base. I have no idea what building it is, but it's a building. <laughs> I'm sure it will give Moving too fast. <laughs> this game is intense yeah. also, now. Also, my complete lack of knowledge of the PE tech tree. This is this is highlighting a critical <laughs> pain point for me personally, is that I have no idea what the fuck Ian is doing. Yeah. Ooh, Ian has generally much quite more a few than units else moving is. in on the middle. Oh no, Josh's riflemen are gonna get uh flanked. Oh, yeah. 
Ian's trying to hold out, but they those guys need to yeah, retreat. Yeah. Ian's got to retreat that shit. Yeah, the riflemen are now behind heavy cover. Of course, now the riflemen are pretty toast too. So. Yep. Oh wow. I'm actually surprised that, hits last in that squad confrontation. survived. That was actually kind of incredible. The last PE squad of two units. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna go ahead and guess, even though I know nothing about the, T the PE tech tree, that Ian is gonna go for the uh, increased squad size. Because it's really devastating to only have squads of three people. Like it's it's it is a an incredible disadvantage against any kind of specialty unit like a machine gun or definitely a sniper. Yeah, it's true. I mean, as the as the as the PE, I mean, they should be able to rely heavily on on light vehicles, and it'll be a while before Josh really has a good AT, especially if he went bar. Henry and Andrew, I'm glad that you guys are here so I can hear like these strategy things that are happening. Uh, it's really all going over my head. Don't really know exactly what you're talking about, but things are happening and uh, they seem to keep happening. So uh, keep keep talking about that. Yeah, we'll do that. Don't 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 undersell yourself, man. I mean, this gin and tonic is fucking great. At least I have my alcohol. Oh. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Well, I think he probably switched it. He was one. He 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 he, he had complained about Nvidia in the last crash. So I'm assuming it had to do with graphics and not internet. Now this seems quite devastating. Actually, this seems really dangerous for both of them because both units are under heavy cover. But uh, you know, th this is actually a learning experience for me. I would not have expected his rifleman to survive that encounter. Now, can Josh get a sticky bomb on uh, that machine oh. gun? That's the question. Yeah, he probably can. He's certainly oh, but he hasn't to researched it, it yet. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That squad car is uh, seriously helping out Josh, but as long as Josh's men are behind cover, uh, they didn't take that much damage, surprisingly. And that machine gunner is not able to pin uh, or suppress his men, rather. So they can continue to move. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Josh is putting mines in front of the oh. church door. <laughs> Josh, mad <laughs> respect right now. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to be fucking beautiful. Or did he cancel them? Oh, 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 oh. Now run. <laughs> now he retreats. Yeah, Ian knows he's fucked if he goes over there, so. We would think. Watch it explode what? on the scout car. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's an explosion. Oh! Ian just watched it go down. Like. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. He must have not seen it. He must have been paying attention to a different part of the map. You know, I've never tried that. I feel like that should work with a tank or something, but I've never tried it. Yeah, pretty neck and neck. This is turning into a, an exciting match, I'll say that much. Uh, more flamers coming in. Saying hey. No, he does not. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, just barely. And it's immobilized, which means he's gonna, he's gonna get it. Yeah, he's gonna get it. He's and as long as Josh can stay bomber. behind that heavy cover, wait for uh, them to. Um, oh, never mind. I have a rifleman squad that will be able to take it out. That'll be a huge loss for Ian. Oh, 
it survived! Ooh, and there it is. is. It's gone. Harsh. Well, and Ian's got enough to possibly do it. Mm. Yeah, Ian has one control of the middle. Uh, quite a battle there. I'm, yeah. And this is, this is it's sort of this is a, another interesting place to be commentating because I want to say something about the economic impact of losing that scout car, but I have no idea what it actually costs. <laughs> sure. Yeah, uh, I it, think it, you it are most correct, all that, Henry. Uh, let me check um, the papers that are printed off here. Uh, yes, yes, that is true. Well, Josh uh, is yeah. decided to circumvent the problem. He's going all the way around the board, um, not attacking the center as he's been doing. Meanwhile, Ian has neutralized the southern point and is about to have all three, which is going to have to keep that in mind. Yes, but now if Ian gets control of that cutoff point, then he can pin Josh in his base and force Josh to only take the north side. I think that's why Josh is, is flanking from the north. Yeah. Well, but Josh is going to I mean, he is coming. He's coming straight out of the front of his base. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's bad. That's really bad. All right. Bad now timing. my question is, what the hell does Ian have on the center VP and uh, one of the men or the artillery uh, points? It's something with dynamite. I'm terrified for what Josh is about to find out. Yeah. Wow. That sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Wow! That, yeah, I'm I'm surprised. Very quick that, movements. Yeah. Oh, these two riflemen cannot stand up to uh, all those grenadiers. Wow, that is impressive. Uh, the bar is definitely helping. Oh, here it comes. Oh, Oh no, oh no! Oh, he sees it. Not bad. Now, I was going to say at the beginning of this match um, that this tournament is a problem because it is uh, driving me to alcoholism, but then remember that I am an alcoholic, so this is just giving me a convenient excuse. So really, thanks guys. Ooh. Ian just got a mobile mobile AT gun. Ooh. Yes, it is. Oh well, yeah, the, the scout the scout cars are at a huge disadvantage to the Greyhounds. Wow. Yeah, the guns on the scout cars are just not. I can to do anything I can about hear it. the string of obscenity is coming from Springfield. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ian just lost a Schwimmen wagon. The most important mm. loss of the game yet. I absolutely agree. It really is. 
don't uh, don't discount like after losing that Schwimmenwagen, um I don't know that Ian sees the path to victory now. now. How is he supposed to answer from the north or south? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's thinking about it. Wow, yes. Oh, uh, the inmates are going to chase it down, and it'll kill that. Wow, skill. that, is a, that is a good ambush, but, yep, Josh is... Oh, nice. Yeah. That's actually, that's that, that's definitely good for Ian. It is an interesting Whether match. that scout car survives is still in question, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, God. Josh's microing well. Oh, holy shit. Oh, he's stuck now. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That's incredible. Amazing microing from Josh. Holy shit, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that keys are flying up the keyboard. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's incredible. Uh, that was a fun That's land. Fun times, but that's just that's that's what happens when you that's what happens when you send tanks around unsupported. Unfortunately, it's true. Oh, is Josh going to cap it? This will cut off a pretty good amount of Ian's territory. Ah, not quite. Well, uh, we need more Schwimmenwagens, we, yeah, we more need Schwimmen snipers, yeah. we need mines, and artillery strikes. That's uh, that'd be my path to victory. I mean, I think he doesn't. I think he doesn't get it at his, at, at his main base exit. I think he goes south. I think it's really the only thing he can do. I mean, he's 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 building another another mobile AT gun, but yeah, yeah, there's no way for it to come out of position. There's no way for it to come out of position and hit those M10s on that main exit. That doesn't allow the intents to get behind it. You notice that there's a little patch of ground on the on the side of those hedgerows towards Ian's base. So if he moves around that to try and shoot the M10s, one of the M10s can always come around on the other side. So I don't, you know, it's, mm. it's an interesting question. As long as Josh is kind of up in that that corner by those hedgerows, then uh, I, I don't see that that AT gun being able to do anything against them. So I think he's got to go. He's got to go south. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, and Josh is now putting mines on the south bridge, so uh, that's gonna that's gonna be fun. Man, how many mines is that? At least three around base there mmm I am again and so proud of Josh oh harsh that does help yeah. to blunt that attack yeah it's it is keeping that uh, AT AT gun is being useless. Let's try it. Oh, he can almost drop artillery on it, but he can't. It's just inside the fog of war form now, so he can't drop it. Mm hmm. Oh, more mines outside the church. Gosh. Oh, yeah, Josh. Yeah, Josh got a 105. Oh yeah. man, He's dropping it on that AT gun. Oh, that was close. Oh man. Yeah. Enemy 
Nope. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, he is. Sorry, he's that's trying to make a push from the south. Making a push on the south. He's gonna run right into those mines on the bridge. Oh. And yeah. yeah he's just going, he's going for those cap points. He's sending a scout car across first. And that was probably a smart move because now his troops are at least alive. Well, everybody knows that Joe's gonna be a mine. Squad moving to capture. That's uh, the one. Tank destroyer awaiting further orders. A mine to be. Oh, and there's an M10 coming up on his push on the south. Yep. Oh, that armored car still has a damaged engine. Ooh, it's not gonna happen with that M10 there. Ooh. I wish I could tell um, oh, which that way that armored car missed. is facing to know. Holy oh, shit! Oh. oh my god! Just oh. one artillery shell took them all out. Damn. That. <laughs> there's the rage. There's the rage for me. And yeah. Holy oh. shit! And that. That is it, unfortunately. I don't know. I can't see it coming back from that. That was. That was bad. <clears throat> Just a devastating hit. Yeah. That is incredible. Hmm. It was close. We have 200 points. Oh, there's another round of artillery coming in on that AT gun. Awaiting instructions. Formed up and ready. Moving on munitions point now. Yeah, Alright, Ian heard it too. He's backing up now, oh, but boy. not in time. Oh. How much you can do. Off-map artillery is now coming in on that thing too. Oh man! Oh, Ian's so fucked. That is not very mobile. He's not gonna do it in time. It's already oh, coming down. Oh, 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 oh! Wow, that is Barely. that is the lowest health I think I've ever on seen on a vehicle. Holy oh, shit! Make ready to move. Off track, time gun. Ready to repairs. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, we I see those, that was uh, probably the best was... move I made that entire game. It was a solid move. <laughs> that, that move killed me. I wasn't expecting it at all. I was, I was, I was completely out tech. Morale is dropping as we hit 100 points. Ian's down to 100. Infantry section. Josh, at 387, that was a pretty respectful competitive start. It all kind of works out for Ian. Tank busters ready to move, sir. About to turn point K. Understood. Well, I think the I think real turning never... point uh, was before this game even happened. Um, how much booze have either of these competitors uh, consumed? That's the real question. 
Uh, I think Ian needed to uh, to loosen up a little bit with a martini, um, maybe a uh, a strong beer, but definitely not a glass of wine. <laughs> the wine just puts you to sleep. Yes, that uh, that. So I think he, I think he, I think he, I really think he he lost it when the intense came out. I think he, he, the intense came out and he didn't have any any way to recover from it, and he he went for more like in, he built some scout cars. He tried to push with the scout cars. He then got a Marauder fucked over because it couldn't turn fast enough. Um, as opposed to going for a, a more sort of obvious solution of, of Panzer tracks. Because you can see right now, he's going to take out that M10 right there, that M8 right there, with, with the double Panzer tracks and force it to retreat. So I, I think that's where. He, yeah, look, I mean, the howitzer might kill it, but. I, I think that's that's where Ian sort of like lost it. Is that the 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 price for putting Shrek on units is only 85 munitions usually, or something like that. It's less than 100 munitions to put a Shrek on a, on on most units in the German army. This is true for the Wehrmacht as well. Versus the the cost of that Marauder to have it die because it can't turn fast enough. Right. Um, well, we uh, Ian uh, concedes at 31 victory points and dropping. I mean, uh, good on him for. Uh, fighting as long as he did I think that's uh, really hard to do and there was a point where it looked like he he didn't have a chance but but if he had you know gotten lucky and changed things around especially in that attack in the south he still could have won so I heavily applaud Ian for sticking it out all the way to the end there and uh yeah yeah solid game from both there were some great great points in this game sure for sure there we have the stats: 70 kills from Josh, 63 losses, 62 kills from Ian. Pretty comparable KDRs. The score, though, those really are pretty comparable. Score. They're also pretty low. Mm -hmm. They're also pretty mm -hmm. low, I Relatively think. Pretty low, yeah. It's true. So I'm pretty sure our games were both in the hundreds. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I may have that. I may have that wrong, but uh, there were there was considerably more bloodshed. My America game, I think I had 150 losses or so. Well, thus ends the recording of game one.